everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday, and John has gone to the gym. Then he goes to Walmart, usually picks up like the heavy major stuff from Walmart, and then I kind of fill in with some stuff. But anyway, yesterday we had kind of a different day. Brooke had to work, and John had to work in the yard. We are still recuperating from the hurricane, and our, our yard just got destroyed. Our, a lot of our grass died and our sprinkler system has been messed up so he's had to replace the pump do all kinds of stuff so anyway yesterday we were kind of like all separate and then Brooke and I met up and had lunch but um I went to I don't I think I had this thought in my mind and then my mom told me that she saw a like a little slip nightgown that she liked at our Walmart that's close to me and they were sold out. She said all they had was extra, extra larges or something. And I had already thought about going to the old Walmart that we used to go to. It brought back so many memories to be in there because we used to go there on the weekends when the kids were little all together. And I can remember too, like going when I was, I specifically remember when I was uh, pregnant with Will and going with John and Brooke, we'd usually go after church and just by the end, I remember by checkout, my nerves were so shot. I can just remember having to tell myself, you know, just calm down, it's not that big of a deal. But you know, just like, you know how it is when you go through Walmart on a Sunday and you're pregnant and you have a three-year-old. It was just, so I remembered that. And then there was a lady at the checkout that, this beautiful lady, that always has a smile on her face. And I looked at her and I was like, how long have you worked here? And she said, over 20 years. And it was like, I remember her so well. And I remember um, going in, like in the mornings when the kids were at preschool and I would go there a lot. It's just, I remembered her. So it was kind of a neat experience. So I have a Walmart haul, like a try on haul coming up because they have so many different things than my Walmart. And I said that to her and she said that actually that one was bigger. And so I just felt like I hit the jackpot. I bought um, some stuff for myself, but then I bought um, a lot of stuff. Like I bought Brooke a pair of shoes, I bought John something, I got Will a couple of things, and I got my mom some things that, that they didn't have the nightgown there but I did buy her some like dresses and t-shirts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that probably tomorrow when I'm here by myself. So, but today I thought I would just show you a few other things that I bought because when I was there, John called and asked me if I would go right across the street to Target and see if they had his protein drinks, which they don't, they only sell them online. But, so I picked up a few things at Target and then Tammy had told me about those new Revlon glosses. So, and that they had them buy one, get one half. So I hit Walgreens on the way back home. So I just have kind of like a little collective haul to show you. And I thought it would be fun to do today. And I am wearing the eyeshadow that I'm gonna show you. Um, and I don't have any lashes on. And I'm glad I thought about this because the Grande Lash. Okay, you know the other day I told you guys that it had been burning and I thought it was making my eyes red. So many of you told me how good that this works for you. And like I said, I can tell that it works. And I think that's why it brings the redness to your eyes. But I am going to just see if I can power through it. Maybe if I use it, or I was thinking maybe use it every other night or use less of it because a lot really comes out um, on their little brush more than definitely well Latisse had that goofy brush I remember but more comes out on this than the new lash but um so I think I'm just gonna wipe the brush anyway I'm gonna try to work with it because so many of you have such good results I'm gonna see if I can just power through it and I can already tell you probably can't tell today because I did break down and put wing liner on but um, I swear I can tell already that I might have lashes like coming in because I have more of a dense lash line. So that is just an update on that. I thought this is why I'm not really good at updates because I am so wishy-washy when it comes to some things and sometimes it takes me a while. But 
there you go. That's the update on that. Okay, um, let's just do Walgreens first because I have the bag right here. Um, I bought all of these glosses that I thought I would, I knew Tammy was gonna do, and I will link her video down below, but she did a video that has, um, sorry, my hair's like all in my eyes. Um, she did a video and she bought every single color of these glosses and did a true lip swatch. So you can see all of them there. So I knew she was doing that. So I just bought the ones that I thought I would wear. So um, they had new, new ones of these. And I like the soft matte creams, but these are new um, vinyl lip polishes. And I bought the peach one, which is, oh goodness, I'll have to find the, where are the names of these? Hold on just a second. Here they are. This is Act Natural. Perfect. Okay, this one is Don't, oh no, Date Night. And if you're wondering why I don't just have readers or something to help me, I do have a magnifying glass I need to get it out. I have the one contact, so, um, which readers may still help me, but, so I have one eye for close up and then one eye for distance, and it just takes a minute for my brain to register, you know, which eye to look out of. So that's why it takes me just a second, but usually it'll focus right in, birthday suit. I think if I had to pick one of these, I haven't tried them on yet, but I think birthday suit would probably be the one that's most me. Okay, and these are the gloss, and um, I got the 203 um, Lean In, and then the one I have on now is 301 Rose Quartz, and here, let me come in a little bit. So this is Rose Quartz, and I have it on with my Nude Sandals Lip Liner. And then this one is 203, okay, that's Lean In. That's Rose Quartz. Okay, this one is, um, is it Blissed Out, which is more of the peachy, kind of like that. It's the same tone that um, Tammy and I always love. It's similar to that Electra, Buxom Electra that I was telling you about. And then this is a more of a, is it matte? Yeah, it has some bubbles in it, but I think it's more of a matte tone. And it's taupe luster. And I do love this kind of color. This is something, especially in the fall and winter, I might wear this one a little bit more. So love these. Now I just had, just tried this one on for the first time, but I loved Revlon glosses before. I don't know if you guys remember that peach one I used to love so much. It was a real light, light peach one that they discontinued. So those are a good deal if you want to give those a try at Walgreens. And then um, underneath that, they had this. Is it? Here it is. I think I saw this either on a commercial or, <clears throat> or in a magazine or something, but it's the uh, so Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner, Long Wearing Gel Glossy Waterproof Eyeliner, and of course I got the black, and of course I haven't used it yet. I wanted to wear brown today since I wasn't wearing lashes, and then this mascara is so good. I tried it this morning. It's the same So Fierce. Look at the wand. How just normal, and it's kind of... a. I do think it's like a, it is a rubbery wand, but it still has plenty of like the, the actual bristles or whatever are long enough that it, you feel like it really is separating and it gets all the way to the end, really. I mean, this is the first time I've used it and I love it, loved it. So I don't know like how it's gonna wear or maybe down below beside the link, I'll put you know, any notes, like if it, you know, ran on me, if it was hard to remove or anything, or if it flaked or anything like that. But so far, I loved this. And then, um, I just, I think I was overlooking at lashes or something. And I grabbed these brushes. They're double-ended eco tools. I'm just always, I love brushes. So I'm always trying new ones, but I just liked the look. And, um, 
I kind of like the double-ended brushes when I'm traveling. I used, last time I went to see Sheila, I used the Stila ones that I bought and I really enjoyed them. So, and this brush set was only like, I mean, it might've been like $10 or something. So, and I always know that I can share with my mom or Brooke or my friends if I, you know, don't like them or if I like them and feel like I don't need them. And then I picked this up. I just happened to be walking by it and I forgot how much I remembered using this. It's the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And I'll show you what it looks like. But um, this is kind of a good base. Like if, kind of like a primer. It um, has a rubbery wand, and I like to, when I get a mascara, I usually do like this a couple of times because when you get a little bit of air in there, it thickens it up a little bit, and it'll help it go on a little bit better. But um, I remembered really liking this underneath the Chanel Volume and the regular CoverGirl Lash Blast, and I just quit doing it for some reason. And that way you don't have to worry about covering up like pink or white or any of the lash primers. So I thought I would just try it again and um, see if I can get my lashes to where I don't wear false lashes quite as much. In the summer, I don't know, I feel like during the day in the summer, now don't, don't think that I won't still wear them most of the time. But a lot of times in the summer, I just feel like, especially when we're staying at the beach and we are getting ready to stay, in just a little while, um, in the beginning of the, it already is the beginning of the summer, but in a few weeks, we're gonna go stay at the beach and I'm not gonna want to wear false lashes. So I'm hoping that my lashes will just look good on their own. And to be honest, a lot of times in the summer, especially when we're staying at the beach, I don't wear eye makeup at all because I'll have my sunglasses on and it's just, a lot of people don't even dry their hair it's just you know it's just all family and you know it's just more of a casual setting so that's i guess where my mind was going with that and so i'm going to pack this stuff up and then we'll move on to target and one thing that i did get at walgreens and i just forgot to show you it was up underneath this stuff and i'm glad i zoomed in this is what i have on my eyes today and um i love it but i will say Okay, it's wet and wild, and it's this eyeshadow palette. And look, a piece of my hair. That must have been the one that was in my eye the whole time. I'm gonna put it right here in this bag. But um, wet and wild eyeshadows are good. The only thing I notice with these shadows is they seem to, like when I, I put a shade on, and then when I, I even took a clean brush, and I would blend out the edges, and then I would go to put another color shadow on and it would almost blend in too much you know what I mean it's like they didn't stay separate as much as I wanted them to but I love the tones of this and what made me pick this up is this color right here that is just my favorite eyeshadow tone it's the tone that is in that NARS skin deep palette hold on that's calling Hey baby. So it's hard to remember where I was. But anyway, so that tone is just what I love. I know what I was saying. Yesterday I was using the NARS. I opened my drawers, put my makeup on, and I thought I didn't really have a plan. And so I opened my drawer and I saw that NARS palette there. And it just I love that palette so much. I know it's sold out on Nordstrom, but they do still have it on the NARS website so I really 100% recommend that NARS Skin Deep palette because not only does it have you know a cool like a really good tone like that that I really really like but it also has some good shimmers and it has like some warmer tones I just love every shadow in there and this reminds me of that color that's in there I just love it so today I started out with this in the crease and I just oh I was just so excited and then I ended up this putting this on the lid, which I really like too. It's just a good kind of blank skin color. But then when I started going in with these darker browns, like at the lash line and a little bit in the crease, it just, I don't know. You have to tell me what you think. I mean, it's definitely blended and everything, but if you want to keep them very separate, just keep them very separate. I think I might've done just too much blending 
but still so worth it okay so target i went in and of course even though i was going to look for protein drinks i did have to stroll down the left side and looked at some things here and there talked to myself out of a t-shirt dress what else did i talk myself out of there was several things and i ended up seeing this tank on a mannequin and it just so happens that laura vitale and i had been texting back and forth she sent me this really pretty outfit that had like one of these cut in tank tops on it and so she said if i saw one to let her know that she was kind of in the market but we were both talking about we needed one that we could wear a bra with and so i saw this there was a lady working there that's one thing i can say that is so good about target is they always have people around you know working that will help you and she knew exactly where to look and so i picked up this one which is the black and um i put on that bra that i have told you guys about so many times it is a teaback bra i ended up um i think i found it by it was in a magazine and it was sarah jessica parker's favorite bra and it's a notori kind of teaback bra that snaps in the front and i have that on today but you can still see like a little bit of the straps so i will let i just want to tell you that but i think it still looks good and a strapless bra of course would be perfect or if you're you know if you're like me and sometimes i just will wear nothing if i you know if i feel like it looks good enough you can get those little flower things or you know whatever i had a lift so i can do that every once in a while but um so a strapless bra might have looked better it's just i cannot i just don't like strapless bras and i feel like a lot of times if they're if they stay up a lot of times they leave a mark but anyway so i'll stand up in a minute and do my outfit but so that's all that i got i'm kind of going like as i went in the store that's all i picked up i think along that way and then i cut i didn't go back to the men's department i kind of cut through looked at the shoes i didn't see anything and then i looked to the left and i saw this hanging up and i don't know after i got it i thought is that an exercise okay no it's a bralette okay that's what i got it for it's an unlined bralette bonded edge for dawn to dusk comfort because as you guys know, because I had the lift and everything, I never go without a bra unless I do it just for a little bit in an outfit, but I sleep in a bralette and everything. And I just loved the way this one looked. This one might've even been better, I don't know. But it's just kind of like a plain slick front. It has its pull over your head, it has the cross straps, and it's just, extremely extremely stretchy and it just looked like it would be comfortable um i wear the little cheap ones from walmart that's the one i wear mostly i have like so many of those and i wash them hang them right on my cabinet knobs in the laundry room to dry and then if you want one that is comfortable soft but has the best support i like the spanx bralalooya that's one of my favorites too but i just picked this up it was 12.99 just to try and then let's see i went down the aisle and then i picked up a little a few food things came back up where the toothpaste and the makeup and everything is on the left um they didn't have his protein drinks i had the pharmacist look it up for me it was just online and then i looked through the makeup and um nope yeah, look through the makeup. <laughs> this is silly. And then I went, I thought, okay, well, while I'm here, I'm going to look at Will's clothes because he is 15, but he is wearing sometimes like a man's small. It's still too big, but then it's he's at the highest end of like the boys section. But a lot of times Target will have stuff that's like a 16, 18 and oh, i got so lucky last year i bought him these shorts and he can still wear them and i love these shorts so i bought him one more pair of these and it's these let's see what brand it is they're champion and the extra large fits in perfectly but be, the good thing about when you're still in the boys section is you have these adjustable bands and that's what i did last year and then this year i was able to just pull them out 
but these shorts are so nice. They look so good on and they wash and dry so nice. They come out of the dryer just looking just like this with no, you know, wrinkles all over them. I bought them a pair, a couple of pairs of shorts from American Eagle and they come out so wrinkled up looking. I have to like smooth them out, pull them out early and then they just, I mean, I know it's part of like the look of those shorts, but I just really like these and they fit in well and everything. And I, this was part of the reason I decided to do this video. I thought I'm gonna save these out so that I can show them to you guys for those of you that have sons that you might be looking for some shorts. And so I'm gonna stand up, do my outfit of the day and then let you go. I'll be right back. I have on um, that little tank that I just showed you. And then you probably remember these um, pants from H&M. I bought these and the ones that were, I think the other ones were leopardy, I can't remember. And then I bought these black and white ones. They're very, very comfortable. And then I have on, yet again, my Javianas, the ones that I just bought that are the Wedge. I really, really like these, and I think you guys would too. You can really tell that I did this video like on the fly because I don't have any earrings in yet. <laughs> I will probably put in maybe just like my Sheila Fajal hoops. Those are my go-to. And I still have on just Funny Bunny on my nails and I always, this is gold, so I never have to take it off. I shower in it and everything. And my hair today, I washed it, uh, took a shower and washed my hair last night, no shower cap. And um, what did I, I used, I actually used last night, the only product I have in my hair is three pumps, and that sounds excessive but I put in three pumps of the Colleen Rothschild hair oil, and boy, look how good it did the ends. I mean, it really makes your ends like soft and manageable. <laughs> and then um, I used, uh, T3 sent me a new hair dryer, their new Cura hair dryer. I've been loving that. And then I finished off with the Conair Infinity. And then I just slept on it. I think that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And tomorrow I'm going to do my Walmart haul. And my mom and I, even though we are not, she's like, I'm 5'6". I think she's 5'4 or 5, I think 5'4 or 5'5". Five five. And she's real petite where I'm taller and bigger, but somehow we both wear medium. So a lot of the things maybe I can try on for you, even though I bought them for her. And um, so I'm looking forward to doing that tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.